What is up YouTube? It's your boy Dr. Vajji and today we're going to be talking about the anatomy of the heart. In particular, the borders of the heart. Let's get into it. So, there are four borders that you need to be aware of, but before we talk about the borders, let's just talk about parts of the heart. So, this uh, pink fleshy thing right here is the right atrium. This thing right here is the left atrium. Um, if you look at this part, this fleshy part right here is the right ventricle and this part right here is the left ventricle. Both the right and the left ventricle are separated by this groove called the interventricular groove. Now let's talk about the borders. So the first border that you should be aware of is the superior border. As you can see, it's mostly made out of the left atrium and partly made out of the right atrium. The next up is the right border. This border right here is completely made out of the right atrium. Fun fact about the right border, it starts from the opening of the superior vena cava on the right atrium and goes all the way to the opening of the inferior vena cava on the right atrium. Next, we have the inferior border. As you can see, most of the inferior border is made up of the right ventricle, but part of the inferior border is also made of the left ventricle, in particular by the apex. Now, uh, talking about the final border, this is the left border. And almost all of the left border is made up of the left ventricle. Now let's talk about uh, the surface anatomy perspective of the borders of the heart. So I've got a thorax over here. You can see that the heart is placed retrosternally. Retrosternal meaning behind the sternum. This right here is the sternum. And when we're talking about the surface anatomy, we have to talk about this very important imaginary line called the MCL. It is called the mid clavicular line. It is called so because it is a line that extends midway between the clavicles. So when we're talking about the borders of the heart, uh, let's first start off with the superior border. We said most of the superior border was made up of the left atrium and part of it was made up by the right atrium. Now, if you look at the diagram over here, this right here is the second left costal cartilage and this right here is the third right costal cartilage. And if we draw an imaginary line between them, we get the superior border of the heart. So if I'm being very specific, uh, the superior border of the heart extends from the inferior boundary of the left coastal cartilage till the superior boundary of the right third coastal cartilage. Let's talk about the right border. Now, this is fairly simple. It's according to the diagram, it starts off in the third coastal cartilage and goes all the way to the sixth coastal cartilage on the right side. Um, we said that the right border was made entirely out of the right atrium. All right, uh, now talking about the inferior border of the heart. So the inferior border of the heart starts right, right here in the sixth coastal cartilage and goes all the way to the fifth intercostal space. Uh, how is this the fifth inner space? Let's count. So this is the first rib, this is the second rib. The space between them is the first inner space. So here we have the second space, third space, fourth space, and this right here is the fifth space. So um, our inferior border ends in the fifth intercostal space along the MCL. Um, again, if I'm being very specific, it starts off in the inferior part of the right border and goes all the way to a point in the left fifth interspace on the MCL. And now finally, the last border is the left border. And the easiest way to describe it is that it extends from the left end of the superior border to the left end of the inferior border. And that is it for the borders of the heart. Now, sometimes you guys might get MCQs asking you um, about the borders of the heart. So they'll phrase it something like this. They'll say that a man was stabbed in the right fourth intercostal space and they will ask you which border of the heart was damaged. So uh, from our surface anatomy, we know that it was the right border. Or they might phrase it like, um, a man was stabbed in the parasternal region on the left side in the fifth interspace. Now, what does parasternal mean? Para means beside, sternal means sternum. So right beside the sternum in the fifth intercostal space, we know that this was the uh, made up by the right ventricle, which was part of the inferior border. So that's it for the borders of the heart. In the next video, we're going to talk about the surfaces of the heart. 
So don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this video. I make videos every week. See you in the next one.